Someone's shooting at us! Well, if they weren't, we wouldn't be at AK-47 Stadium here in Hexon, Texas. Bring your body armor to the stadium or wear a body bag for the ride home in the hearse. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Carolina Panthers battle the Hexon Oilers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> It's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing because NFL Game Day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So, what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they gotta keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pot pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally, you don't wanna get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the refs early and often. No mercy. Uh I'm pretty sure my baby sister can throw further than that, but she doesn't have to play against goddamn monsters. And that'll be second and eight to go. This is your brain, and this is your brain on berserker drugs. And that is that guy's brain getting crushed out of his helmet by that guy whose brain is on berserker drugs. Third down and nine. He took a leap and had the ball knocked out. Fumble! He's got a case of fumbleitis. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a thought that Is he dead? Uh, nah, he's still moving. Crap. I had money on him biting a big one. If he don't die soon, my long shot is gonna kill me. And it's first and ten. Great run for a nine-yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the jugular and rushes to kill the corp. It's not how many times you fall. It's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Third down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. This is gonna be a long kick. Let's see if he can make it. right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. 
You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was what. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down and forever. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's at his foul the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Three yard catch on the play. Every little bit counts. Those three yarders might grow up to be somebody one day. Second down and seven. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. Third down and five. And it's first and ten. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. First and ten. Hot one, hot two. Three. And he laterals at the last second. Nifty move there. And this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot one. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Third down and three. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Nice run for five yards.
And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Finally. Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hey. Oh, big catch, big run, big touchdown. Hey, yeah, Briggs, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. Second down and a lot. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. And the ref shows some nifty moves and escapes with his life. The guy to saw butt that says he's dead next play. I'm not taking that bet. Second down, and, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down in a mile. Hot one, hot two, hot Runs it for four yards. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. Hot one. Hot. And they went to the air and came up big. <laughs> Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And the punter has one job to do, and that's punt the ball. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. I just may be in commentary, but I thought you were supposed to throw the ball forward. Uh, yeah, 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 you're right. You should. Second down and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. Third down and nine. How do you miss a bomb kill right in someone's face? This your first time playing the game? Hey, you with the controller in the hand. I'm talking to you. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. The cross stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And the defense calls the Thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. Now don't let the hair on your corpse stand straight up. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Did 
Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Hey kids, do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore glasses? I do. Join the MFL and try Roy Rage and have your revenge. It well, that's the end of his day. Looks like he had a bad case of the worms. Great shoestring tackle. on the play and that'll bring up second and one third down and three his feet so well on that play. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. for a first down. <laughs> and he takes a time out here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Hot one, hot two, hot And cribbling, it certainly left skid marks. Well, that's two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second and three. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. And here comes the extra point attempt. Turn here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for me. You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. In a hurry up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Oh, 
sure now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> Receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, we'll talk about points. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Oh, those are just my fouls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Bricks. <laughs> The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Second down and ten. Wow, he took like a thousand points of shock there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Borden, the ant smiler. Did the shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and zapped her, they never bothered her again. So, yeah, I, I guess it worked for her. Third down and the punter is warming up. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And it's first and ten. Not, not one. Catch. Chipping away with those medium passes, I like it. Like a patient prison break. Second down and two. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Whoa, and he laterals the ball to the player behind. It's two yard run before he stopped. <laughs> and 
And that'll bring up third and one. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two. Second down and ten. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. the way to move the chains that's good for a first down this game is all about momentum and killing and it's first and ten oh mama he just knocked him into the next time zone once he finds his head he'll be okay second down and ten hot one hot two hot Trick. Oh man, about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. No, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Second down and six. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite thing because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. Before they have to forfeit. And that'll be second and eight to go. The defender says, I don't think so.
Third down and eight. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. First down and six. And the defense jumps outside, trying to mutal. Now the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. The Hexen Oilers get crushed literally and lose by forfeit today. And let's go down to the field and hear the MVP. He's a real role model for the kids, Bricks. That is, if you want your kids to be a roid raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea. Oh, that personality disorder has a name. It's called autotropism. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...